Welcome to What's She Up To Now, day 2319. Sharon Horn Nelson here. I like to talk about what I'm doing, what I'm working on, where I've been, what's good, what's working, what's bad, what's not, what I've tried that I failed at, what I've tried that I've succeeded at, because I think if I can share and help you from making the mistakes that I've made, you're at least that much further ahead than I was when I started on my journey of transitioning from the offline to the online uh, world, from corporate and, and brick and mortar businesses to digital and working from home. We're talking about home-based uh, business strategies today in Supersize Your Business. And in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, that piece of content that I create every day, we do one thing every day to grow, working on relationships this month. And we have to decide which relationship we're going to soap. We're going to hit the soap framework starting tomorrow. So I'd like to pick an area that we're going to improve with respect to relationship growth. So I gave some criteria and some things to think about as you're picking the relationship, as the people in the challenge are picking the relationship they want to work on today. And one and five criteria, I said, okay, here's five things to think about and consider. One, emotional impact of the relationship you're considering. Two, frequency of interaction. You know, if you interact with somebody a lot, it's probably more important to fix that relationship or improve that relationship than if it's somebody that you see. You know, like I said, I use the example of every five years at your class reunion. Probably doesn't matter that much, right? Uh, mutual importance. Is the relationship important to both of you? If it's not, why would you spend a whole bunch of time and energy trying to improve a relationship that the other person just doesn't care one bit about. If you got a bully, guess what? You probably don't want to, well, you might want to fix the relationship with them. But you probably don't want to have a relationship with them at all. Uh, current strain. Here's a good example. If somebody's bullying you or treating you badly, that is a lot of strain on a relationship. And maybe a lot of times the answer is to just get away from that person, get away from that situation. Uh, but not always. Sometimes you just have to face up to them and stand up to them and they go away. And then finally, a personal goal. Uh, do you have a, a goal in an area? Like, do you want to improve your romantic relationship? Do you want to improve the relationship with yourself? Do you want to improve the relationship with one of your siblings or your kids or an aunt or an uncle, a grandma, a mom, a dad, etc.? Whatever it is for you, think about those five criteria. Pick the relationship. And then starting tomorrow, we're going to apply the SOAP framework to it. Uh, that's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day because I got a whole bunch of projects today and a busy, busy schedule. So I want to get to it. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, see you tomorrow.